Hey guys, this is Joey. I wanted to show you the difference uh, between shutter speed, ISO, and aperture on our Panasonic GH4 mirrorless cameras. Okay, so right now you can see that I have an f-stop of 4.5 or an aperture of 4.5, a shutter speed of 80, and an ISO of 200. I want to briefly review where to find those three tools, and these are all tools for brightening or darkening an image. Uh, so we'll start with the ISO, which there is a button that says ISO on your GH4. So if I click that button, it brings up a separate screen. And then using my thumb wheel, I can toggle to brighten up the image. Or you really can't darken the image with the ISO. You can really only brighten the image. So I can brighten the image with it. Um, I'm going to leave it at 200. It's best not to use ISO if you don't have to. Um, but you can use it up to 800 or so we don't want to go past 800 because it's electronically brightening the screen now on Sundays we typically honestly we'll usually run it around 400 or so um, that gives us a nice bright image combined with our shutter speed and our aperture settings so I'm gonna exit out of that now let's talk shutter speed shutter speed is adjusted with the thumb wheel and you can go all the way up to 16,000 or you can go down to Let's see. Two, you can go down to two. And you notice when I go down to two, some really weird stuff starts happening. The image gets brighter, but some weird stuff happens. Um, that's because the shutter speed controls how much each frame is exposed to light. Um, now, it's a little different with a mirrorless camera. I'm not sure exactly how all the technology works, um, but there is no mirror in this camera given that it's a mirrorless camera. Uh, on Sundays, we run, currently, we run our shutter speed at 30. Um, this helps all of our images be consistent across the board. One's not smoother or choppier than the other, and so we're running everything at 30. Uh, that could change in the future, so just keep note of that, um, that this video at the time you're watching it could be dated, and it's always good to ask if you're if you're confused. So leave that at 30, and once again, that's adjusted by the thumb. ISO, Click this button, you still use the thumb wheel, but you adjust it once after you click the ISO button. Now, so the only two, the only two settings you change for brightening or darkening your image are gonna be, on Sundays, it's gonna be ISO or um, aperture. Now, I can adjust the aperture, which will either darken or brighten the image. On this particular lens, it goes anywhere from 22 down to a 2.8. Um, now, let's get in to a little bit of the specifics here on why it goes to 2.8 um, and what happens when I zoom out and how that changes the aperture or also called the f-stop. This lens right here is a 50 millimeter to 200 millimeter. Okay, so right now I have it in the 50 millimeter mode. If I look at the settings here, you can see that's a 50 to 200 and it goes from two point, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. It goes from 2.8 to 3.5 f-stop. Now what that means is when you're at 50 millimeters, you can have a 2.8 f-stop, but when you zoom in to 200 millimeters, your f-stop goes up from a 2.8 to a 3.5. Let's see that in action. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back out here. So, let's see that in action. Ooh. Okay. Let me look at it. Okay, here we go. So, I am going to click the display button so I can bring it back up the settings. So, watch, watch the screen there. So, you're at 2.8. I have the aperture as low as it will go. You can see me moving it down. It goes down to 2.8. Now, watch it as I zoom out. So, I'm zooming out. I'm at a 100 millimeter. You see it changed to 2.9. I'm at 150. It's 3.2 and at 200 I'm at 3.5 okay so that's what's happening now I can at when I'm fully zoomed out as I am I can no longer go down go down to a 2.8 it changes the f-stop now what does that mean for us well it means that we typically want to run our f-stop as low as possible okay because when you row, run a, lo, a really low f-stop you get a blur your background and it also brightens up the image so a couple things to keep in note if a the scenario is you need to darken an image and you've already gone as low as you can on your iso say i'm at a 200 but the image is still too dark then i can always adjust my 
um, my aperture, also called an f-stop, I can adjust it up and it will darken the image. However, for the best picture quality, I need to run my aperture or f-stop as low as it will go and then adjust my ISO accordingly. I don't, at currently, how we're running our cameras, we do not want to adjust the shutter speed, which I mean, you can see me using my thumb right now to compensate for that. If you guys have any questions about how this works or if you need me to explain anything in any more detail, just let me know. Thank you guys so much.